Hey guys, it's Marco again. I'm here out at Mission Bay Golf Course located in San Diego, California, out in Pacific Beach, right off of the five. Today I'll be going over a pre warm up routine or just a driving range routine for you. Thank you. All right, so typically, right when I get here, the first thing I do is park and walk straight to the pro shop, which is located right next to the parking lot. Um, from here, I usually don't bring my golf bag. I go check in first in the pro shop. I pay for my round and then I grab the keys to the golf cart, take the golf cart back to my vehicle and I load up my bag from there. That way I don't have to walk back and forth with the golf bag. So here's what the entrance of Mission Bay Golf Course looks like at this time. They're under construction. It'll be built, that'll be the new pro shop and a facility to sell food and beverages. So typically right when you get here, if you do decide to walk in with your bag, you can set it down right here. And then as of right now, since there is construction going on, the pro shop is located in here and the bathroom is right next door. Um, you are able to rent a golf cart for about $13 or you could rent one of these push carts for $8. Uh, both a great deal. So once you're done checking in at the pro shop, you have your bucket of balls. I always recommend finding a bay setting down your balls behind someone that's about to finish up and then grabbing your golf cart heading over to your car and load up all right once you go into the pro shop and check in you could pay for a bucket of balls you could either get a small a large or a medium bucket of balls uh, so once you're done paying you either go here and put in your code for your golf balls or you can pay for a prepay range here which then allows you to skip the step of going into the pro shop every time you want to go to the driving range. Typically, a driving range has two types of bays, an iron only area where you're hitting off the grass or an all club section where you can hit off practice mats, which are turf. As of right now, it looks like Mission Bay is only offering turf mats, actually. It looks like the grass is closed off. Here's a putting mat. This side is more so for players that are playing around at the day of. So you could putt a little bit right here before heading over across the bridge to hold or tee pad number one. So once you're done hitting some balls, a bucket of balls, you can come over here, putt a little bit and head over to start your round. On the other hand, if you are not playing a round of the day of, or if you, even if you are, you can still come out here. But here, as you can tell, there's red flags and yellow flags. The red flags is a putting only area. And the yellow flags is for chipping. As you can tell, there are players chipping over towards the yellow flags and one towards the red, which they're not really supposed to be doing. But here's a map of the practice area. As you can tell, there's a putting only, chipping, and then bunker play is actually super cool. A lot, of a lot of courses do not have this, but they do have a practice bunker here, which makes for great practice. Most courses allow you after a round to take your golf cart all the way to your vehicle to put your bag away. However, this golf course requires you to return your golf cart right here, right by the exit. All right, I have gone over about everything that this golf course offers, aside from the 18 holes, obviously. Um, right behind me, there is a temporary snack shack right there where you could buy some beverages and snacks. Uh, one cool feature that I did want to bring up before I close out the video is the San Diego City Golf app. Uh, the city of San Diego now offers an app for golf, and that is for the Mission Bay Golf Course, Torrey Pines, and Balboa Park Golf Course. You can make tee time reservations on there. Uh, there is GPS tracking for the ball when you're playing. You can see the distance from your ball to the hole. Super cool features. I'd recommend anyone that's looking to play around at one of these three courses to get the app prior to coming out here. Um, but as of right now, that's about it. And I hope you enjoyed the video.